Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome back to the new Phasmophobia update. In this video, we found a new Thay or Thigh ghost. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but it's a really cool ghost that is all about being super aggressive early and then becoming weaker over time. Now, I think this ghost design is absolutely amazing, but the way it is made in the game is a little bit like suboptimal. It doesn't really work as it should, which we'll see in this mission, because in this mission, we figure out everything with this ghost. We learn all the new tricks that it has, and I really hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Ooh, comfy. Bradley Cordero. Cordero, what a what a last name. Start the start the paramic for the timer. Go, go, go. Hey Muff, what's up? We got a hiding spot right there, perfect. We got a rib cage right there, even better. Breaker in the basement. And ghost in the basement? I'm pretty sure. I heard that. Hello? Okay, it's Voodoo Doll. I think I heard something be thrown. Just again? It's over here. It sounded like it came from over there, but I guess it came from over here instead. Unless it's upstairs. Huh. Okay, maybe it's actually upstairs, like right above us. Okay, let's just, uh, it's a voodoo doll. Let's just get hunted and listen to the rhythm of the ghost. We'll see if it's a fast ghost or not. Definitely in the basement. It's a rhythm of a theogen! Right? Wait, no, it's not! It's a thigh! No! I live. I'm insane. That's a thigh. Okay, we finally found it, and we can finally see the fast, the fast part of the thigh. There you go. Okay, so now this is a thigh. This is the ultimate science. So. We started the paramic. We did everything correct. We started the paramic. The paramic will be our timer of this mission. We have been going for two minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Now we need to get... I want to see the speed. This gotta be a thigh. There's no other way. Because it didn't slow down when it came into the room. It did seem... It's not as fast as a Dio gen when it like, it's like homing in on you. But let's see. So, we're, what we want to know now, let's check our sanity. Let's check our sanity. We want to know when it can hunt. W can it early hunt? That's really important. So, let's get, uh, let's use a pill to get right above 50. Or are we already right above 50? What's our sanity? Okay, perfect. We're at 65% sanity. Let's see if it can hunt. Because the thigh, if you don't know, I mean, we're going to be in the house while I read the book real quick. Because we have no time to lose. Because once this ghost gets a little like once we get later into the game we have a lot of time to talk about what the ghost exactly is the beginning is very important because this ghost becomes really weak really fast like it it it's basically an oni that slow it's an oni revenant that slowly turns or an oni raichu that slowly turns into a shade um over time and it turns into a shade really quickly like really fast so you have to like, in order to test the start of this ghost, we basically have to, like, force a hunt right away and be... We have no time to lose. We just have to be here. Can you give us a sign? Hello? I know you're here. Let's listen. I don't hear anything. The voodoo doll triggered a hunt, yes, but the speed was definitely thigh. Unless something is very weird here. Is it not in down? Oh. 
Let's go. Okay, so it's in here. Turn on the light. It's through tons of stuff. Okay, can you give us a sign? You're supposed to be super active. Show me the money. Are you... Let's go. It's throwing... It's touching doors. Give us a sign. So the thigh is... I mean, it's gotta be kind of like an Oni. Let's see if we can get any ghost events. What's your name? Your name is Bradley. Bradley? Bradley. Ah! it! What the fuck? Holy shit, I almost died. So it's, it's, it's already a little slower, I think. It's already slower? Are you serious? Dude, did this go so dirty? Why did they do this to the thigh? It's such a cool idea, but they, they, they so like... They so undercooked it. It's, uh, we literally triggered a hunt as soon as possible. And it was like super fucking fast. Like it was crazy fast. I can't even believe I survived that. And then now it's already okay. So check my sanity. Did it early hunt though? Because that's actually very important. Did it early hunt? Let's see. Um, I think it did. So yes, it did early hunt because we were in the dark for a little bit as well. But it's already slower, and we were. Oh, it might have. Okay. It might be every five minutes, it gets a little slower. That might be how it works. But I feel like that's crazy talk. Like, that is way too punishing for this ghost, man. I feel like... So, the way that the ghost works, as far as we know, and as far as other people have said... And based on my... I've seen this ghost three times. This is my third time. The way this ghost seems to work is that it... Based on the time of in the investigation, so the time that you're not even in the house, just a, as soon as you unlock the door, there's a timer that starts, and the longer the timer keeps going, the weaker this ghost becomes. And after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's literally a shade that's as slow as like a Diogen, or like a slow Revan, or slow Hantu, basically. So it's really, really weak after like 10 minutes already. And what I think they should do with this ghost is that they should change it to be based on time invest the, the time of the investigation instead it should be based on the time close to the ghost okay let's see so it's fast it's definitely faster this is i don't think you can loop this let's try it though I think they actually did it so badly. I, they did the same thing that they did to the Hantu. They did the same thing they did to the Hantu. They underestimate just how fast the player is. And I don't know why they do it every time. Because they did the same thing to the Hantu the first time. And then we complained about it and then they fixed it. So I'm thinking they're going to fix this as well. After five minutes, it's a ghost that you can loop. That is insane. <laughs> That's so bad. Like, no, no other ghost you can loop. Because other ghosts, you can... They, they get faster over time. So any other ghost, you cannot loop. Just five minutes into the game, the thigh is already, like, slower than the player. Which is just insane. I feel like that's way too punishing for this ghost. It should... To it should so the best way I think they could do this ghost is that it's based on time in the ghost room. Because what that means is that if you take a long time to find the ghost room, you might be low sanity. And then you get hunted by an insanely overcracked awesome ghost. It might be super active as well in that time. But the problem with this is that it takes long before you find the ghost room. Usually, not always. Here we found it pretty much immediately. But it takes a little bit before you find the ghost room. And then it becomes so weak so fast that... You're never really gonna get hunted while it's fast. Like, while, while it's able to kill you. You're only gonna get hunted after this. Like, do you really ever get hunted five minutes before five minutes have passed in the mission? That barely happens. It's... 
so bad. <laughs> I mean, it does happen if you use a cursed item, obviously, which is what I did. But, like, that's the only way you can get this ghost in its prime time. Which I feel like it should be balanced around it being at least strong for a little bit of the game. Which the perfect way to balance that is make it based on the time in the ghost room. Because as soon as you find the ghost room, you'll be hearing, like, a crazy poltergeist in the distance. Let's see. Let's see what the timer is now. And if it gets... Fa if it gets... So it's... Okay. So next hunt, it might be even slower. Let's find out. So it's been 10 minutes, basically. Like a little... It's been almost 10 minutes. And see if it gets any slower. Because it does get slower. Like, this is its second highest speed, I think. We saw its highest speed right at the start. This is its second highest speed. Let's see if, if what, what, how much slower it gets. So this is... Now we can look at this, right? Uh, the thigh, in case you haven't known it. The thigh have been known to rapidly age over time, even in the afterlife. From what we've learned, they seem to deteriorate faster while in the presence of the living. Incorrect. It's only fa it, it goes down at any point, even when you're not close to the ghost at all. So you could literally just open the door and sit in the truck for 10 minutes and you have a shade. Which, who would want to do that? But it's like the best way to counter this ghost. Um, or I guess not even, because it's like you just... All you have to do is just like wait five minutes and it becomes weak. Uh, strength. Upon entering the location, the tie will become active, defensive, and agile. Correct, technically. But it's a very minor strength. Uh, weakness. Thigh will weaken over time, making them weaker, slower, and less aggressive. That is huge. And we know already from the first experience that I had with this ghost, if you saw that video, we know that it is literally like a shade. It can't hunt anymore um, when you're in the room, which is what happens to a shade. If you're in the same room with a shade, it can never hunt. That also happens to this ghost. I think it's actually a shade. I think... Oh, no, never mind. It's still not a shade. Because I think we're still high enough sanity. Let's see. I think it's already... It's literally every five minutes it changes. That's it. Yep. It's slower. Every five minutes it changes speed. Very interesting. Now I don't even have to sprint anymore to loop it. Huh. That is like perfectly timed. And I'm so happy we did that we used a paramic for this. Because now we know it's definitely not based on time in the house. Time, uh, like in the ghost room. It's only based on the time investigating. You should see it in five minutes. Now you think it's slow? Just wait five more minutes. It's so slow. <laughs> like, it's gonna get even slower. And I wonder how it works with the, like, how exactly the hunting ranges work. Because it might be, like, at the start it hunts like a demon. I hope it does. Like, I hope they didn't make it, like, 60, 50, 40, 30. That would be so weak. I hope they made it at least, like, hunt at 70. I feel like they should... I feel like they shouldn't... I, I think the idea is really good, like, that it has these different stages. The first... It's just the main problem with this ghost is that the first two stages are way too short. Like, it's five minutes that the ghost is, like, actually an Oni. And after that, it's already, like, a, a pretty much a shade. Which is just, like, really underwhelming. Because we already have a shade. Hello? Yeah, what they could do is... Yeah, that's a good idea. Something like that, Snowscar. Like that they made the first phase 10 minutes, the second phase 5 minutes, the third phase 3 minutes, 2 minutes, something like that. But I think still the best fix overall would be to not make it based on the time investigating, but instead time in the ghost room. Because that means that in order to make this ghost weak, you have to be close to it, which you don't want to be because it's strong. Like that's such a perfect balance. Like that is exactly what it seems to indicate in the book. Like... It tries to make you scared, so you leave it, right? So it goes super aggressive and aggro on you to get you out of its room so it doesn't get weaker. It's literally a fight between you and the ghost of you of, of scaring you out of the room so you don't make it weaker. That's like, that's basically what I thought it was when I first read this. That design is insane. It's so well made, but instead it's like, kind of undercooked because the timers don't link up they should make it 
if they make it time in the ghost room this ghost is perfect like it's actually exactly what it should be because it tries to scare you out of its i think it's already too weak i think it can't hunt because i'm in the room with it i think that's what's happening right now i think it's in this room but it can't actually hunt because it's already a shade dude that's so sick i really oh never mind oh it's it's back there let's see and there you have it <laughs> so we've seen all the we've seen all the phases this i think this is the last phase it's so so the second the second third and fourth phase can all be looped only the first phase is fast we didn't even try to loop it because i was so scared but i doubt you can do that because that was so fast so literally after five minutes it's a loopable ghost which I think would be fine as long as it's five minutes in the ghost room. Because five minutes in the ghost room is a long time. Like, to be five minutes in the ghost room... Like, a lot of times when I play a game, I'm in the ghost room for, like, four, three, four minutes. So if they made it that instead, you'd actually have to fight against this ghost. It'd be such an interesting back and forth with, like, a crazy Oni that wants you out of there. Because it will get weaker if you're there. I think that's how they should redesign it. So I think it's a good, it's a very cool idea that I'd like to see tweak just a tiny bit. Now, the reason why I think it's not working like this right now is because it's a little difficult to balance in multiplayer. Because in single player, it's very obvious. You can just look at the timer of the, like time in the ghost room of the one player. So how do you do that in multiplayer? I feel like the why they did it this way, like I, there's no way they didn't think about making about using the time in the ghost room. There's no way. What I think they then ran into, like, how do we balance that for multiplayer? So they just decided not to do it because they were like, that's gotta be too complicated. But I think it's a very easy fix. You do have to add a new mechanic. Like what you have to add to make it balanced for multiplayer is that you have to add an additional timer. This timer. Because what could you use, right? You could use the highest ghost, the highest time of anyone in the ghost room, but that wouldn't really be balanced. If you use the total time in the ghost room of everyone, that also wouldn't be balanced because that would make the ghost so weak so fast. What I think they should do to make it balanced for... Oh, oh God, this is actually terrible. I can loop it, it's fine. That was lucky, you almost got me there. Okay, now it's gonna be a bit scary because it's gonna be so slow. I hope it's not here. Oh God, okay, finally. Jesus Christ, that was actually scary because I was in the dead end. But even then I can still do it. <laughs> anyway, I should have as much to. You already done? Oh no, it's still coming. I was talking, right? So I was saying that you, what they should do is add an additional additional timer. This timer is gonna be based on from the ghost's perspective. So from the ghost's perspective, there's a timer that starts at zero. And when there's someone, one, two, three, four, doesn't matter how many people in the ghost room, it starts ticking up. Every second adds a second to the timer. And if there, so that would be, a, and then as soon as everyone leaves the ghost room, the timer stops. And then if people get back into the ghost room, it gets, it, it keeps going. That way you can balance it perfectly for both single player, multiplayer, everything will be perfectly balanced and it will be work, work the exact same way. Yes, you could make it, you, obviously if you're playing in multiplayer, it will be a little easier to make the ghost weaker because only one person has to be in there. Um, but I think that's kind of balanced because it's based on, like people being close to it right so if there's more people it should be a little like it should be weaker faster i think adding that timer to the game and basing the the stages of this ghost on that timer would be perfect because obviously we as a community of like like we take the game very seriously <laughs> we analyze everything and we would see through that right we would see through that the timer works that way but the accidental game design would create that situation, like would create the intended effect. Because the intended effect of this ghost is that if you're close to it, 
it wants you away. Like, it wants to kick you out. And making an extra timer based on the time in the ghost room, like that, like how I described, would be exactly that effect. Like, any player that plays against this ghost would feel that. Like, you would feel this ghost go sicko mode on you the first five minutes, and then it gets like, oh, I can't get you out of here, I get a little weaker. Five minutes later, get a little weaker, until it's this. Until it's this husk of a ghost. This absolute husk of what it once was. It hasn't gotten slower. It's. It, I think this is the final stage. I think that is the fine, final stage. All right, so we need this here. This on the stairs. This over here. I guess, wait, you know what? I should put this one in there because let's test it, right? So uh, let's quickly take a peek at the timer to see what it's at. It's probably at like 20 something minutes right now. It's pretty late. But man, like that's that's really easily fixed. And I feel like we have made it. I feel like I know, like I don't want to be very egocentrical. Like, oh, I know what's best for this game. But I feel like I've made a strong case. And in my mind, it just clicks. Like that would be so much better as design wise than what it is now and we've seen it here firsthand we've seen it here firsthand that even if you mess up completely and you go you trigger a hunt right right away and keep triggering hunts right away it's already bad after five minutes i feel like it's we've we've shown it off pretty well that even in the most favorable situation for this ghost it's still bad um and doing it the other way just to, like in my mind would would work exactly how you imagine this ghost should function but obviously we don't get to make the decisions but i feel like if we if we tell this to cj and and dk and lavender and skipper i feel like they they would agree that it's not really working as intended right now because it's just I know not ever like I know the, the counter argument for changes that I often get from the developers, which is totally fair. The counter argument to changes that I often get is not every ghost has to be Skinner. Sorry, Skinner, not Skipper. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, the counter argument that I always get from the developers is not every ghost has to be strong, which makes a lot of sense, but Every ghost should have a unique personality, in my opinion. And the intended personality here is not aligning with the actual personality. I feel like that's... I feel like that's what's happening. Oh. Interesting. It's still hunting, even though it was... in the same room as I was. That's curious. I guess the shade... I think the way this the shade hunt prevention works is that the player is a crucifix. If it tries to hunt while player is close to it, it can't hunt. But because this room is so big, I'm not preventing hunts because... Oh, is it even slower? No, I think it's still the same. Uh, actually, it might even be slower. I'm not sure. I don't think so. It's just, it's just really fucking slow. I, oh, nice double back. Nice double back. Nice double back. Nice double. <laughs> it's almost Diogen, dude. Just getting tired. So, yeah. Man, I can't wait. That would be so fun, though. If they change that, like, this ghost is, like, incredible. It's gonna. Because this is something that we have. Like, that's why I'm so adamant about. Like, I'm so hoping. I'm instant praying that they decide to change this because we have never seen a ghost like this. We have never seen a ghost that has dynamic behavior. It has never existed in this game that a ghost has like a changing personality, except like the mimic by design, but like a, a personality that's so like, I guess what, what it's similar to like how the mayor wants to turn off lights, right? It's kind of like that. The mayor wants to turn off a light. The Unreal wants to blow out candles. 
Like, with the Onrio and the Mare, if you place a candle in an Onrio room, of, or if you turn on a light in a Mare's room, it actually will roam away. It's more likely to roam away from that room, which is just, like, amazing design. Like, it, it tries to get away from the lights, and then it gets its power back, right? Because it tries to... If it gets... If it turns... If it makes you turn off the lights... It'll be an early hunting ghost. That's how the mare works. It'll early hunt if there's no lights around. So it tries to turn them off. It tries to roam away. Like, it, it really feels like a personality that's all about lights. And this ghost is a much more complex and interesting personality that's all about getting the player away. But it doesn't really work like that right now because it's purely based on the time investigating. So, that's... Like, the same thing with the Onryo, it, it tries to get your candles out of there by early hunting. If you just bring one candle, the Onryo will actually early hunt because of the candle, right? So it tries to get the candles out of there. If you bring enough, it'll be weaker. But that's, like, how you kind of have to balance it. So let's see, right? If I place this crucifix... <laughs> okay, then. I guess. <laughs> No, that works. <laughs> I wanted to get the crucifix, so that works. Now, let's see. It can hunt over there, right? I wonder if the play, because I've we my first th thigh that I had stopped hunting for like 15 minutes at one point during my investigation, and when I was like at almost zero percent sanity. So I feel like there must be something like that where it stops hunting. When you're close to it, I'm not entirely sure. Does the thigh early hunt? Yes. It, it hunts above 50. I don't know how much above 50. Because we got hunted at like 55. But the... Like... It, it only does that for the first five minutes. If you are that low by five minutes, something has gone wrong. Like you probably used the... Uh, use the, the the cursed possession a ton. Like, this ghost, the only situation in which it's weak, it's like a ghost that counters using the cursed possession, which is not its personality. Like, it could be cool. You know what? That would actually be great design for a next ghost. A ghost that is all about not wanting you to use the cursed possession, something like that. That would be sick. That That's actually, I didn't even think of that. That could be a cool, a cool idea. Because the way I think there should be ghost design, like, the ghost should be designed in ways to... Make them mimic a designed personality. Because that just gives infinite replayability. Oh. Hello there. Like the Onryo wants counter wants to counter candles. The Raichu wants to siphon from electronics. The and that's the way they work right now. Like the early the Raichu only early hunts when it's near electronic. It's only faster when it's near electronics. The mare can only hunt when it's outside of light rooms so it tries to turn them off it tries to explode them it tries to move move away from them um the i mean some ghosts are just like onis aren't necessarily built around interacting with the player but they're just act well i mean they are they're just based on like being very active um the poltergeist really throwy demon obviously super aggressive like so many ghosts have like I think the Obake, I think is Obake is worse than than Shade, dude. I hate it. Like the more I think about Obake, the more of a wasted potential it is. Because the only thing that the Obake does is it does two things. It leaves a fingerprint 75% of the time, and like 10% of the time it's a special fingerprint. That's all. It doesn't have any hidden abilities. It doesn't have any shape shifting. It has nothing. I think Obake is the ghost that they have added like there's obviously the shade i think literally only the shade made the, even the shade is more interesting than the obake because at least the shade is like a designed personality whereas the obake basically hasn't it doesn't do anything <laughs> where and, and like and this is like i know i sound very negative but this is mostly i mean first of all it's out of love second of all it's because Every ghost is so incredible. Like, they're, all of these ghosts have such a strong personality that you can... That are designed by creating abilities that have a desired effect to create, like, some interaction with the player. Like, and this one was basically the ultimate ghost. The ultimately... Oh, God. 
Interesting. I'm gonna smudge it here. I, I could try and loop around it. Like, if I was in a pickle, I would loop it, but I'm just gonna run past it this time. I could, I could have probably looped around it if I was, like, if I had no other option. But obviously, you would never do what I'm doing right now. Like, this would get you killed against any ghost, but not against this ghost. <laughs> so, yeah. It's... Like, the twins, all these ghosts, man, they're so well made. The mimic... Are you kidding? It's just like a handful that aren't up to par with the others. Now, I still think, like, obviously, that this ghost has a, an amazing design. It's just, it has an amazing design, but internally something's flawed that doesn't create the desired effect. So if they just make a very small tweak, we have probably the best designed ghost ever made in this game, I think. Which is definitely worth, like, the half a day that it would take to make this change, in my opinion. So I really hope they, they consider changing it. Wait, what? Did I drop my... Why did I drop my lighter? So yeah, let's... Uh, it's, it doesn't seem like it's getting any slower. It's like already at the slowest. I think we've basically completely figured out this ghost. Every five minutes... And that doesn't mean if you're in the ghost room or in the house, just every five minutes after you open the door, the ghost gets slower and starts hunting less frequently and at a lower sanity threshold. That's it. So yeah, very cool. Let's do one more loop because it's really fun. We got it. We have figured it out. Because this ghost is really hard to figure it out. It costs us... I mean, we still need to figure out something about the Moroi as well. But like this ghost, because it's so time-based... It's really hard to to learn everything in one mission because if you're not immediately on top of everything, you won't like know about the first phase. There you go. We stopped it again with the crucifix. Oopsies. I wonder if there's an ability. I wonder. Did I just get stabbed by a mosquito on my finger? Crazy. These are garbage. Um. Okay, hunt me. Hunt me! Come on. Because I think the... The Diogen doesn't necessarily have like an... In, I mean, it does. During hunts, it has a very strong personality. I love... I just love the... the like, the, when you're away... When the hunt starts against a Diogen... And you hear this, like, uh, this steam train coming from a distance... And then it just slows down as soon as it gets into your room. It's amazing. It's so well made. Come over here. Follow me. <laughs> it's so slow. Uh... Grandpa! Bro! Where you going, Grandpa? Hey, come back here! <laughs> Take this. Get stabbed. Take this. Boom. Get stabbed. Alrighty. That is the thigh. We learned everything there is to learn. There might be a hidden ability. Who knows? Um, I mean, the hidden ability is probably more ghost defense. Early hunting. Like, it, it, the hidden ability... This is hidden, right? It only says this. Like, all of this that we figured out is, is was hidden. But yeah, there you go. Interesting. Oh! We don't... No, we had the, the voodoo doll, right? Dang. I really wonder if, if you asked the, the Ouija board... How old are you against this ghost multiple times throughout the mission? If it will change. I wonder. Probably not. But that would be sick. That'd be so cool. There you go. That was a thigh. Now the way this is pronounced, I think we've been I've been saying thigh because it's like, I mean it's more thay thay. It is day with with like a th instead of a d. That's how CJ said that it should be pronounced, or that they have been pronouncing it thay. I don't know thay thigh. It's it's I don't really know. Sixty nine interactions.
Oh my god, it's perfect. I stopped at the exact perfect moment. Anyway, uh, that is the thigh. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? I know I've made a, a very... I know I sounded very negative, but it's just like I obviously I've played this game for uh, how many hours? I played this game for 1738 hours. I really love it. And I think that if there's simple changes that can be made to make it more fun and to create more interesting ghosts, they should totally be taken. And in this case, I feel like I've made a strong case for the like changing it to this timer. Good time in the ghost room instead. Look at that. If we took that timer, I would have barely with all this time, I would have barely made it weak. Because I would have spent 16 minutes in the ghost room compared to 30 minutes, 33 minutes outside of the ghost room, right? So yeah, it's based on this instead of this timer. And I feel like that should be changed. So that was my that was my idea. Let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, you like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the Love the Gamers here in chat, you join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, YouTube.